Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share this with you. So I'll have this out on Thingiverse. What I'm doing, it's cold weather out here in Michigan. So too cold to go outside flying drones. So it's a good time to be inside working on 3D printing stuff and organizing the shop. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm organizing the shop as I'm developing holders for various things. So in a prior episode, I developed sort of a generic tool holder. In this episode, I needed something to hold my skin. So I want to stand it upright in the um, on the pegboard, and so I modeled up um, this holder, which attaches to the pegboard, and uh, the scale just slides right in. And as you can see, it's designed to kind of slide in and tighten into the um, holder, so it doesn't flop around in the holder. And you just slide it up, and whoops, just kind of slide it in, and. Uh, just like that. I'm going to need to clean up a little bit more in here. I plant, printed it with real cheap um, Chinese PLA and really having a hard time separating the um, uh, supports from it. So I'm going to have to get in there probably with a little grinder or something, kind of grind it down a little bit so I have a little bit more room because I spec this to kind of be able to slide right in here. So what I did is I actually uh, traced this uh, base, scanned it, brought it into Inkscape, extruded it, and then brought it into uh, Tinkercad where I used one of my uh, pegboard uh, generators from OpenSCAD which is also out on Thingiverse so you can get that. And then just added a couple sort of ovals here and differenced them out so the angle matches as you can see that of the scale. So the scale just slides in and I just scaled it for the um, uh, height of the scale so it fits snugly in there. If I can get it to go over this way, there we go. Uh, and again, it fits real snug because I didn't want it to flop around and fall forward and that kind of stuff. And so I just push up and it comes out, push down and it goes in. And again, I got to clean this up a little bit more because of the cheap PLA, but it came out very well. However, this version didn't. So unfortunately, uh, one of the things, especially about this cheaper PLA, is, is it gets jammed on the spool and this is a byproduct of it jamming on the spool so I set it to print went back in my office for a while came back about an hour later and this is what I had so it didn't work too successfully because again the cheap PLA got jammed so one of the messages here I want to send is, is you, you get what you pay for and so a lot of times because I print a lot of stuff for the channel uh, I'll get some cheap Chinese PLA that I can get for about 12 bucks a spool but I tell you what um, you know, you run into a lot of headache with it because the other thing I want to mention about this is I'm doing the air quality videos. Uh, you know, a few of the viewers wrote in and said, well, you know, this PLA is different than that. And, and one of the things to understand is not all PLAs, you know, made equally. So because this PLA, it takes about 210 degrees at least to melt it. Where normal PLA 190 to 200 is, is usually sufficient. So that tells me there's something in this PLA that isn't a normal PLA. And that's probably why one of the reasons it's so hard um, in comparison to uh, regular PLA. But anyways, I wanted to share this with you. I have this out on Thingiverse. So if you have, these scales are very common. It's, uh, I also have a link to the scale if you're interested in one. Very nice little scale. Uh, I think it was around 20 bucks or so on Amazon. You can't beat it. So, you know, various functionality. And again, I, now I can just sit it on my, or mount it on my uh, pegboard. And I've done some overlays and I've done some overlays of it printing. So print it out very nice. You do have to use supports because of this piece here that holds it in. I could have paired this back and I thought about it, but I figured what the heck. I thought it looked kind of cool like this and then have it slide down and then have it a little bit smaller than the overall scale itself. So eh, I thought it was pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Does it look cool? Not look cool? What would you do differently if you were me? Uh, also, the design technique. I'll see if I can't link below. I've done a couple other videos on using Inkscape, scanning the object or an outline of it, extruding it, and using that as my model to create something like this. Oh, I did want to mention the reason for the big hole, why waste the plastic? And I also thought it would look kind of cool. It added a little bit of design dimension to this, sort of like a, a porthole look, if you will. So, because I could have just 
printed all this thing, but why waste the plastic? This right here is more than enough material to hold the weight. Um, I could have made the circle a little bit bigger, and actually I initially did, but then I didn't like the looks of how it imposed on the other circles, or holes, I should say, not really circles, I guess they are circles, but holes. So I, I narrowed it down a little bit, and I thought it aesthetically it looks pretty good. So when it's off there, hmm, looks pretty good. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting, and maybe if you got one of these, hey, it'll come in handy, you can use it. It'll be an Unthingiverse, free for you guys, and uh, hey, Swag Shop's going to be coming up there, subscribe over there. Comment below what would you have done differently or what else should I do, you know, as far as making uh, pegboard mounts. Love making pegboard mounts. Uh, also with this, I'll have the pins. I'm going to probably screw this one in simply because where it's going to go is, uh, you know, I can screw it in on the pegboard. But I'll also have pins with this, both a long and a short pin that I've, I've come up with to mount these to the pegboard. So anyways, again, comment below. See you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.